So welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I'm looking forward to bringing you a video on upgrading the 11 pole stator. But before that I want to tell you guys a joke. In looking for information on this 11 pole stator came across a couple of good videos, some great information on some forums, and then came across some clickbait. Turns out people think they're doing something if they sit on their bike with a wiring harness around their neck and talk about how great they are. Now before you go searching for that video, let me tell you don't waste your time. I mean, come to think of it, who would do something like that? So as an answer to that clickbait, Today I'm going to bring you a comprehensive video on how I was able to go ahead and rewire my bike for an 11 pole stator. So now that I'm done wasting you guys time, let's get to work. What the f so folks, there is a way to do this without buying all this extra stuff that I have here. And there's even a video online where this electronics guru was able to turn his eight pole stator from a half wave to a full wave system. But for my situation, the original regulator needs to be replaced. Now this is the regulator that I purchased from Amazon and that I'm currently using on the bike. And along with that regulator rectifier, obviously you have to purchase the 11 pole stator. And for all these items that I'm showing, there will be links in the bottom of the description. So there are many ways to do this. And instead of taking the hack and dash method, I decided to purchase everything that I needed to wire the bike as officially as I could. So we have a wire stripper crimper, 18 gauge color coded wires, 2.8 and 6.3 size terminal connectors, T-tap connectors, and a sleeve for the new wiring loom. All right, so first we wanna stay on the stator side of things. And let's make this easy as possible. Within the link that I provided for that particular stator, I want it to be clear that that stator's wired for an AC CDI powered system. And that's indicated by this red and black wire. The blue and white is gonna to go to the pickup coil. Now with that out of the way, the only ones that we need to worry about are the three yellows and the one green. If you notice here also, I have my original wiring harness still in place, and that's just because I was in the testing phase. So let's see where our three yellows and one green will connect to the regulator. And here you can see the difference in the old rectifier and the new rectifier. The sucker is almost four times as big. And this particular rectifier has two ports that you'll be able to connect into, one with three yellow wires, and all of these are ACs, and the other one has a red a green and a black wire. So that means that the three that are coming from the stator will plug directly into this terminal. So I'm not sure if this wiring loom looks familiar or not, but this is where I'd like to give a big shout out to Daniel Martin. Daniel has since stopped making videos for YouTube, but he was the one that I purchased my original 171cc engine from and never had a problem with lending his expertise to me if I had an issue. So I wanna make it fully clear, this wiring loom idea came from watching his two videos of his 11 pole stairs part three and part four. Now a closer glance, this is the one that connects to the stator and I have the green ground wire attached to it running just about a foot down. Here's where I use the 2.8 size connectors and the other end that connects to the regulator uses the 6.3. Now these plastic casing terminals did come off of my regulator. They had to be changed only because female and male were opposite on the plastic housings that I got from Amazon. So now it comes down to connecting the other side of the regulator. Here again, we have the red, the green, and the black. So what I did was took the red and the green that was running from the original wire harness. The red runs to the positive side of your battery, and the green is a ground, but this time on the bike itself. And the black is running to the ignition key switch. So if you can see here, I have a T-tap running into the black line to splice into that wire. And that is the black wire that is going into the connector that runs into the other side of the rectifier. So with everything in place, it'll look like that. And these are my two new connectors that allow my bike to have an 11 pole stator. So now let's go ahead and test it and see what we have. So I know it's kind of loud, but with the bike started, Sitting at idle at about 2,000 RPM. Our battery's reading around 13.9.
And of course later we'll go ahead and dress this in a sleeve and run it down through the scooter. But with that folks, it brings another episode of Kachi's Kid to a close. I'd again like to thank all of those who supported this effort and helped me find the information that I need to be successful. So until next time, everybody have a great work week. Peace out everybody.